Hey, welcome to the Keep Austin Social Slack channel. My name is Austin Distel, and I made this channel for two reasons. To get cool people to do cool shit. I moved here June 1st of 2018. I didn't know anybody, and I didn't know anything to do. But I quickly found a community that was very invitational, always saying, hey, there's this thing to do, and this thing to do. But it was because I was a part of a whole bunch of different Facebook groups, different group me's, Slack channels, text messages groups, and it just really felt disorganized. And then if I wanted to try and find fun things to do, such as a live concert or playing volleyball at Zilker or to going up to Fredericksburg to drink at a brewery, there's never a really good centralized spot or even a spot to search to find uh, where the coolest events are to go. Intro here to the Keep Austin Social Slack channel. I decided to bring together all the conversations and all the events to one single place. Now, if you've never used Slack before, or maybe you've only used it for business, I want you to open up your mind to this new tool because it is not just for business. And if you set up the notifications and you choose the channels that are right for you, you'll come to find this really delightful. But if you don't do this stuff, it might become annoying or irrelevant. You'll find yourself never logging in. So set yourself up for success uh, through these eight steps that I have right here lined out for you. And you will come to find Slack is the most organized way to curate your social life. All right, so let's go ahead and dive on in. Now, obviously, you're here in the welcome channel. But the first thing that you want to do is introduce yourself and just say something like, Hey, what's up? My name's Austin. When I'm not running marketing in my tech startup, I'm playing volleyball on the weekends, always looking for something more fun to do with my friends. Anyone else here playing volleyball? And this is the first step. Introduce yourself like this, and then you can go and reply to somebody else's introduction. Maybe you find something in common. So if you're like me and you like playing volleyball, reply to me. All you do is start a thread like this, and you uh, tag me by saying, at Austin. I'll come up like that. And then you'll say something like, I do. All right, now this created a new thread. It's separate from the channel's conversation. Why is this important? Because nobody else in the channel is going to be uh, binged on, on their notifications, whether it's desktop or the mobile app, uh, about your reply. It's literally only to me or anybody else that's also in this reply. So somebody else can come into this thread and say, I do too. And now not only will, you know, this person, but also this person will get the notification. All right, you can always change your notification preferences, which I'll talk about in just a second. The second thing you wanna do, or the third thing you wanna do is search a topic. All right, so the topic might be, let's say, concerts. All right, so I'm gonna look up concerts here, and look, there's a, uh, a concert, Blink-182 and Lil Wayne are doing a concert, getting together on August 1st, who's down? I can literally click on that and go straight to the thread, uh, and now that's in a new, uh, channel here called live music. All right, so all you have to do to add a channel is just go here, create a channel. Let's say you want to do one for uh, kickball league. All right, I can create this channel, kickball, and there we go. As soon as I do here, I can invite people such as Darby, just like that. And now Darby's in here. I could even make this a private channel by going here to additional options, and I can change it to a private channel just like this. And part of being a private channel is that nobody else will get the notifications. Um, only you, and it can't be searched. No conversations can be searched in private channels. So I'm gonna change it to private, and uh, all of, you know, this is secret messages. So let's say for kickball, I wanna be notified by everything. So all new messages on desktop and mobile, um, I wanna know, know everything about that. Uh, however, let's say for live music, um, I don't care so much about being notified, so I can change my preferences here to just people who mis mention me. Then maybe for nightlife, uh, I never want to get notified um, even if somebody mentions me. So I can do mute nightlife, all right? And I can just jump in there when I'm ready to engage with that channel. And that way I can curate the way I engage with my own social life. I don't have Facebook binging me for every single kind of event, and I don't have a group text that is going off when I'm on vacation. This is a way that you can curate your own social life and be notified about the events that you truly care about. Finally, you can take this private one-on-one -on -one conversation. Let's say I just wanna say uh, only something to Darby that's not public, it's only private. Um, I can just say, you know, hey man, how about, you know, 
tacos in an hour. All right. So all that is is just straight to Darby. It's like texting him one-on-one. And my last tip for you is go ahead and download the Slack app and add yourself to keep Austin's social channel. I hope you share my vision for getting cool people together to do cool shit. Welcome here to Austin, Texas. I hope to see you uh, here in the Slack channel and also in person very soon over drinks, volleyball, here at business tech events, or anything that is social in Austin.